配乐赞助。That talks about appreciation in art that consists three units to develops ability to appreciate, analyze, and to critic the work of art. Art comes a subject that will enhance your skills, especially. Doing paintings, sculptures, photography, singing and dancing, poetry and plays. It asks questions about who we are, what we value, the meaning of beauty, and the human condition and everything that talks about art. So let us learn and explore. Our topics are all about the history of art, followed by the next topic, the appreciation in art. We also have the importance, differentiation, and nature of art. Art of the subject that will. Doing painting, sculptures, photography, singing and dancing, poetry and plays. It asks questions about who we are, what we value, the meaning of beauty, and the human condition and everything that talks about art. So let us learn. So now let's talk about art. Everything is an art, and art is everywhere. In every object we see in our homes, and even in our nature, which God has made so beautiful, there is art. And now let's talk about the art history. Art historians the study of human expression, visual, tactical, and spatial, sometimes oral, through history. Art historians develop ways to translate from the visual to the verbal through analysis and interpretation using a number of different approaches and methodologies. Art historians develop a special sensitivity and understanding of the way visual, material, and contemporary art sometimes immaterial expression makes meaning in the world 
and how those feelings contribute to our social, political, and our spiritual life. Before we proceed for the next topic, I am Lee Andela Cruz, and what is the meaning of the art appreciation? When we say art appreciation, it is a three-unit course that develops the student's ability to appreciate, analyze, and critic the work of art. Through the interdisciplinary and multimodal of this course, it equips the students with a road of knowledge of the practical, historical, philosophical, and social relevance of the art in order for the student's ability to articulate the art. It develops also the student's competency in researching the art as well as conceptualizing, monitoring, and evaluating the art productions. The course aims to develop the students' genuine appreciation for the Philippine arts by providing them the opportunity to explore the diversity and richness, the rootedness in the Philippine culture. Moving on, I'm Christine Andrea Manalo, and what we are going to talk about next is how would you define art? For many people, art is a specific thing. It can be a painting, a sculpture, or photograph a dance, a poem, or a play. It is all of these things and more. They are mediums of artistic expression. In Webster's New Collegiate Dictionary, it defines art as the conscious use of skill and creative imagination, especially in the production of aesthetic objects. Or let's say, it is a combination of those skills that you're trying to improve from time to time and your own creativity. The creativity that you have been using all this time in making an aesthetic thing. Yet, art is much more than just a medium or even words on a page. It is actually the expression of our own experiences. Art is uniquely human and tied directly to culture. It enables us to make simple things into an extraordinary one. It helps us to express who we are, what we value, the meaning of beauty, and human condition. As an expressive medium, it enables us to experience sublime joy, deep sorrow, confusion, and clarity. Visual art is rich and complex subject whose definition is in continuous change alongside with the culture surrounding it. Because of this, how we define art is in essence a question of agreement. In other words, the meaning of art will depend on the perception of the artist himself and on how it complements the ideas he absorbs from its environment. To give you a clear view of how you define art, ask this to yourself. How are you able to convey your own feelings and thoughts? Is it through singing, dancing, painting, doing calligraphy, or on how you dress yourselves? And now let's talk about creativity. Creativity requires thinking out of the box. In art, creativity is what set apart one artwork from another. When can we say art is something creative? Or when we have seen anything like it all when it's out ordinary, when it's not just a copy or imitation of someone's work, there is originality. Next is the imagination. Did you know that imagination is more important than knowledge? Why? Why did I say that? Because according to Albert Einstein, knowledge is only limited for those things that we know and understand. But imagination, it embraces the entire world and there are a lot of things to know and to understand. Not constrained by the walls of the norms, but goes beyond that with the help of imagination, one is able to craft something bold, something new, something better, in the hopes of creating that will stimulate the change. In artists' minds, artworks does not need to be a real thing, but with the help of imagination, we can make things that is more than we've expected to be done. Artists use their imagination that gives birth to the reality through the creation, 
in the same way that imagination provides art, art also inspires imagination. What an artist does to an emotion is not to induce it, but express it. Through expression, he is able to do explore his emotions and at the same time create something beautiful out of them. Expressing emotion is different from describing emotions. This makes people art not a reflection of what is outside or external to them but a reflection of their inner selves. Now let's talk about what is the importance of art. Art is important because it's no different why you need food to live, why you laugh, why it feels so good to be loved, and to be left behind. Charot. First, it's a part of us. Humans have been creating art right from the beginning of time. Whether it was using berries for paint, wood for carving, and such. Humans have always and always have or had a natural affinity to being creative and making an art. It's actually in our DNA. And it's something we know from the day we're born. Paano ko nasabi yun? Just give or bigyan mo yung bata ng crayons or anything coloring material. In a few minutes, may kita mo yan, may nagawa na yan. May sulat na yung padad nyo. Diba? It is an art. It's just that it is not according to the standards of the adults. Though yes, yun na, yun na yung creativity ng bata. Right from the start, kaya niya nang gumawa ng shapes, lines, nga lang, hindi sa papel. But, sa pader. Diba, tumatawa sila sa ganun. But then, not every career path endorses the arts. So, it is very hard for us to keep our creativity going as we grow up. Kaya, example na lang yung, di ba, you're an accountant or an accountancy student. Alam nga naman yung financial statements mo, bigyan mo ng different colors ng pens. E di pag pinasa mo yan sa accounting prof mo, recta zero kasis. Di ba? Siyempre, in those things, we need to perform uniformity. Uniformity as being consistent in what you're using because uh, it is what is being asked for us to do. That's why, if hindi natin kaya gawin siya sa, sa profession natin, we can still use our creativity as a hobby or in different things. For an example, we can still draw or sketch or paint like that or dance you can you can still improve it from time to time other than using it in your own profession second it's language just with the saying a picture is worth a thousand words art speaks its own language whether it's a painting sculpture a dance routine or your favorite song art is able to say things that words sometimes can't it's an international language that anywhere and anyone can understand and be inspired by. Just an example is um, a song written by Olivia Rodrigo titled as The Driver's License. It made us feel in thought of being replaced, being left behind, doing the things that both of you once have planned doing. It is very sad and it was very um, relatable that's why it made us feel the emotions in it easily next the third one art tells a story how art tells a story and it is important because it's a way of documenting and preserving our history an example is the works of Rizal the works of our prominent artists from before. The third one is art tells us a story. Art is very important because it is also a way of documenting and preserving our history. Historic art tells us about our society and our culture from before and how it evolves from time to time giving us insight and different perspectives. 
An example is the work of Rizal and other prominent artists from before. In the work of Rizal, the El Filibusterismo, it was able to give insights to his fellow Filipinos at this time about the advantages that the Spaniards are doing with the ignorance of the Filipinos that also ignited or sparked the revolution at that time. The fourth reason why art is important is the fact that it is therapeutic. Art is a great way to deal with stress and calm yourself. If you make a regular time just lend for just to lend for creativity, rest assured that there will be some changes with how you feel. You can be you can feel at ease, lighter and such. The therapeutic effects of art are so profound to the point that it can also be used in more serious cases by certified professionals to help people deal with mental illnesses and other emotional challenges with a quote that art therapy integrates psychotherapeutic, psychotherapeutic techniques with a creative process to improve mental health and well-being just for an example yung time na nilalend mo for listening music or even baking or cooking para lang ma-relieve yung stress mo. It is your way to cope up. It can be a way to cope up, rather. Pwede rin yung how you divert your attention through using TikTok. Through the way you try to dance or do some TikTok challenges or sing a song and make a video or make a video of yourself it is still an art it can be it can be a way of calming yourself whilst doing an art lastly it evokes the emotions of people art is very important because it has the power to move people and sometimes an entire nation just think about the films songs that have gone viral around the world and created either awareness or inspired others to do great things. Without the songs you listen to while you're working, exercising, or doing some school stuff, you might not be able to accomplish anything of them. That's some um, powerful stuff. Considering it's just music and without it you can get work done, well we've all been there. There are some people that can't even live without music. Yung iba naghihintay lang tapos natataranta na or it, they feel anxious without music. Kung super tahimik sa isang place or minsan naman out of, siya lang mag-isa tapos medyo out of place siya. It's parang ang huling puntahan niya lang is music or watching videos and stuff. An example of this one is yung binigay ko kanina, which is the driver's license of Olivia Rodrigo. It evoked the, emotion, the emotions of Filipinos. Ang daming nakarelate doon, ang daming naiwan, iniwanan, like that. Madaming nalungkot, and it's very fascinating as well because just because of music or just because of that song, people were were able to relate themselves with each other that's how powerful art is now let's talk about the scope of arts there are different form of art and we are considered these two classes the visual art and the performing arts visual art includes the painting sculpture literature calligraphy and architecture visual art I mean, performing art includes the dance, music, and the drama. To differentiate art history and art appreciation. Art history is the study of human expression, while art appreciation develops students' ability to appreciate, analyze, and critique works of art. And now we're on the topic of nature of arts, preliminary expressions. Art at its root is an expression an artist is an expressor translating in order to create meaning art expresses and translates 
or acknowledges and reveals art transfer and art intervenes. Art is an expression, an expression of feeling, belief, and character. Artistic expressing can be enjoyed in a variety of such as paintings, drawings, sculpting, needlework, drama, music, dance, creative writing, and of course, photography. Last topic is the assumption of the art. The assumption on art are its universality, its not being nature, and its need for experience. Without experience, there will be no art. The artist has to be foremost, a perceiver who is directly in touch with art. That talks about appreciation in art that consists three units to develop ability to appreciate, analyze, and to create the work of art. Art comes a subject that will enhance your skills, especially. Doing painting, sculptures, photography, singing and dancing, poetry and plays, it asks questions about who we are, what we value, the meaning of beauty, and the human condition and everything that talks about art. So let us learn and explore. Our topics are all about the history of art, followed by the next topic, the appreciation in art. We also have the importance, differentiation and nature of art. Art of the subject that will Doing painting, sculptures, photography, singing and dancing, poetry and plays. It asks questions about who we are, what we value, the meaning of beauty, and the human condition and everything that talks about art. So let us learn and explore.